Hi there. Um, this video, I'd like to explain some new features that have just been published for the C Trader desktop version 3.8. Currently, it's in beta. Um, so by the time you watch this video, it's either been published and rolled out to your brokers or it's still in beta. Um, so what I'll do is I'll quickly explain the page that I'm looking at. This is from the C Trader website. I'll put the link, link at the bottom of the YouTube video so you can access it. Now, they've just gone into detail here about the new features that have been added to um, the beta version of C Trader. So you can just scroll down and find out more about it. But what I'm going to do is just give you a hands on tutorial and just show you how to use it using the platform itself. So if you want to download the beta version, just go to this page. Again, I'll put the link at the bottom of YouTube and just click on this button here and it will download the beta version onto your desktop. Now, with this, you can run it on a demo account. You do not need a broker. You don't need to sign up for a broker for a demo account. You can just go ahead and use the beta version because it's the beta version. It might have a few bug bugs. So if you do see a few bugs, don't worry about it. Just report it to C Trader because that's the whole idea of having a beta version out there so that people can use it and identify bugs. Sometimes you can't identify them until you actually use it, really. OK, so. This is C Trader Beta 3.8 I'm looking at now, or you're looking at on the chart. Now I put a few drawing tools on the chart just to get started. Now the first thing I'm going to explain is the objects manager. So historically with C Trader, whenever you added an object or a drawing tool to the chart, say like a Fibonacci retracement or you know some draw pencil lines or even a rectangle, okay. Um, sometimes these are really hard to manage um, to find out where they are and how to actually delete them. Because what would happen is over time, as your chart moves across but the other way, obviously, um, these drawing tools get lost and you'd have to scroll all the way back to find out where they were. So there's a much easier way of managing these tools now. On the left here, on the toolbar, you've got a few more icons. One is to hide all drawings. So if I click this, all the drawings that you've put on there are hidden. What you can see on the chart right now is actually an indicator, okay? If I bring the drawings back and then the other button you've got there is to manage the drawings. So you can remove all the drawings just by clicking on this button here, or you can remove all the indicators. So this is managing your indicators and your drawings. So from this icon, the little stacked icon, you can manage all your indicators that are on the chart and all your drawings that are on the chart. So what I'm going to do is go onto the drawings first by clicking on that. And it says there's seven drawing objects on the chart. So there's the Fibonacci retracement that I just put on the chart there. Um, there's a rectangle as well that I put on. There's a couple of text boxes and there's a trend line. Now, what you can see at the top here, it says cross symbol. Now, what that means is you've got an icon here on each of these drawing objects. And if you click on it, it says move to cross symbol. So that's moved the Fibonacci to cross symbol. The idea behind it is that at the moment, I'm just looking at one chart. I'm just going to move them back out, actually. I'm just going to move them back out and move them back into the main one. So that's just got one chart. So the whole idea is if I was to open up another chart, for example, on here, um, any objects that you add to the cross symbol will be displayed on all the charts. Okay, So you should see them on all the charts that are out there. So if you were to add a rectangle or a vertical line um, to the cross symbol, um, it will be displayed on all your currency symbol charts that you open up. That's the theory. OK, so if I remove that again and go back to the Euro USD. Now, this is only showing me objects for Euro USD. If I was to go to Ord USD, you can see you need to open up a new drawing object. So you need to go back to I'm just going to experiment with this. It's quite new itself. So there's no drawing objects yet for this one. So I'm just going to quickly add a very basic uh, vertical line. OK, I'm going to drop it there. Now, if I go to the drawing manager and click on drawings, it's only got one object for the vertical line because I'm on the Ord USD. You'd have to go to the new chart, go to the drawing manager again. Now, these are the drawing objects for the Euro USD. So you'd have to open up one for each one. Something I haven't tested yet. I'm going to go over to Ord USD and click on the drawings and it opens up the same windows, expecting it might have opened up uh, multiple windows, but it doesn't. It opens up the same. OK, I'll go back to the drawings again and I'll just quickly go through the different features you've got on each object. Obviously, you can search your drawing objects up here and you can just type um, anything in. If I put REC, it only comes up with the rectangle. So if you have a lot of objects, drawn objects on your chart, you can filter them by the search text box. So the first one I'm going to look at is the trend line. Um, first thing I explained previously was move to cross symbol. Second one is to lock the object. And I'm going to do that for the re rectangle. If I lock it, the padlock comes on. I can no longer move the actual rectangle. It moves the whole chart. If I unlock it, I can move the rectangle. So it just locks the object. Uh, the next one is to hide it. So if I click there, it hides the rectangle. If I click it again, it shows the rectangle. The gear icon is the settings. That's the settings for the object. And there's various ways of doing it. I think you can just double click on it or right click. Yeah, right click. You can right click on the object and get to the settings window as well. 
and the one here is delete, remove the um, dustbin. Click on that and it will just remove it. So there's various ways now of managing your objects that are on the chart. Um, and even better, if I click on this trend line, it moves to where the object is. So example would be that I'm actually way past this uh, on my chart. You can see where it is, it's 21st of April. So if I bring it all the way back here. If I've got an object on the chart that I drew on it three months ago, um, and I want to remove it off the chart, I don't use it anymore, you can find it from here, and then you can just click the delete key and it will delete it. Now this one here, I'm going to delete trend line two, delete that as well. Obviously there's various ways to delete it. We've got another video that explains more about drawing objects, how to delete them and admin stuff. This is just to show you the um, new features of CTrader. So that's that, just scrolling through the list now. Here's another one, um, duplicate chart objects. So what I'm going to do is remove all drawings and I'm going to go here. Now delete this, I'm going to do a trend line object. Um, and I'm just going to draw it on the chart. There's the trend line. I'm going to change the color to white and make it a bit fatter. Okay, so um, you can actually duplicate this by um, dragging and pressing the control key down. So at the moment, if I drag it around the chart, it doesn't do a lot. If I hold the control key down on the keyboard and then drag it, it's duplicated it. I'm doing it again, duplicates it. So you can do that for all objects. That's another feature that's built in to do it. Again, if you want to remove the objects, you can just press the delete key or right click on the object and select the delete button. Either one, you can delete them quite quick. Or you can just go over here and uh, let it go. Go over here and you can just do remove all objects. Now, the other thing they've got, which is quite a cool feature, I think it was needed for a while, is your text boxes. So in the previous versions, when you draw a text box, it would just be the same font size. It would be the only the same font size. Now I can put uh, um, different types of font sizes. So it's doing a large hello now. Now, if I want that bigger, I can right click on it and I can change the actual font size to 72. I can also change the color to anything I want, okay? So again, you've got more features. You can make it bold, you can make it italic, and you can make it underlined. So again, the text feature is very, very useful for when you're drawing objects. Now you've got a bit more control on it. You can also lock it if you want. Um, another feature they've got is to hide your accounts. I've not done this one yet. I'm just gonna bring it down. I've, got, I've only got one account. I'm just gonna drag this across and explain it to you because I, don't, I haven't got it to show you there. So on here, you can show your accounts um, by a new button that says hidden accounts. I think that just allows you to hide the accounts. Actually, let me just try it. I've only got one account. That's probably why I can't do it. Yeah, it's this little icon here. You can see it. I can't really hide it because I've only got one account. But if you had more, you can hide certain accounts and only show certain accounts. So that's a feature there. And um, one of the best things they've done actually is added a few more indicators. So I'm gonna quickly go in and try and find them. So to find the indicators, you go to the little F icon there. And I'm gonna type in the name of the first indicator that they've got is the whole moving average. Now this has been built in. So this is the whole moving average that's been built into um, the C-Trader platform. It's gonna change the color to white, and there it is. Straightforward whole moving average, very basic whole moving average they've put into the platform now that you can use. Again, if I wanna remove this object, I go to the, um, there's various ways of doing it. I can go to this object there, remove all indicators. Yes. Okay, the other one they've got is the average directional movement rating indicator, ADXR. So again, I go into here, ADXR, and there it is. Oh, is that the right one? No, that's a custom one. Don't want that one. I have to find it. It's under results for custom. So if you do type that in, you'll end up with a custom one. It's this one at the bottom here. It's the full name. Oops, no, it's not. That takes you to another page. <laughs> Hold on, sorry about that. So I'm going to type it in again. I have to type in the whole thing. Or you can just find it. I'm going to just quickly try and do that and find it under here. You've got uh, direction. Actually, there it is. Average directional movement index rating. So you can also find your indicator just by going through the relevant um, categories here for it. So it's this one that you can add onto your chart. So these are indicators that are um, highly requested by traders. So what they've done, spot where I've done, they've obviously listened to feedback from traders and they've um, rated the ones that were being released in this release. And there's this indicator. Uh, also, they've added the alligator indicator. So just try and find that. Um, got to find out which one it falls under. I thought it would have been under there. I've got to find it. Alligator, there it is. And this is the alligator indicator. where You've got the jaws and teeth and everything. If I right click, you can see you've got all the values. So again, at our website, ClickAlgo, we do have some of these indicators that we give away for free, but obviously now it's built into the train platform. platform. So you can see that it's very, very useful now that CTrader actually put in some very useful indicators onto their platform 
and they're slow or actually slow they're actually rapidly now um, publishing new releases for this platform with new features so they're investing a lot of time into it at the moment okay the other thing you've got is snap to price while drawing an object I think I'm going to try this if I was to draw a trend line it will automatically snap but it should do anyway yeah snap to the price tops and bottoms that's a standard feature now and what they've done is they've added some new features to C Trader API. So there's some new properties is, is locked, is hidden. Um, so if you read this, you'll show you more and more um, features that you've got for the API. If you want to do automated trading systems, then um, they're actually also expanding that. But this video is just to show you some of the new features that are actually on the chart in. So that's it. That's the C Trader 3.8, just showing you a few of the features they've added. Um, if you do want new features on C Trader and you feel they're really useful, you can actually leave feedback for them by just going to their website and clicking on suggestions and you should be able to add your own suggestions there if you don't know who we are we are clickalgo.com um, we're a software developer develop, we're a software vendor for the c trader platform and we provide um, trading tools education and an ecosystem for traders to talk together and help each other with trading okay you can just come to our website and you can have a look at our products and you can also go to our educational site for algorithmic trading and we've got a lot of information to help traders okay that's the video if you do like it please give me a thumbs up at the bottom and also come and visit our youtube channel i'm just going to quickly show you it now if i click on there this is our youtube channel so if you're not familiar with us We've got hundreds of videos to assist traders in using C Trader and trading in general. And if you subscribe to us, you'll get informed as soon as a new video comes out like this. Okay, thank you very much.